Pittsburgh was founded in 1774 by a band of pioneers from Pennsylvania led by James Herod. The little village they carved out of the wilderness, which was the first permanent English settlement west of the Allegheny Mountains, was originally known as Herodstown. It was abandoned briefly in 1774 as a result of Indian attacks, but was resettled the next year. During the Revolutionary War, the residents of Herodstown found themselves fighting constantly with the Indians. In 1775, James Herod and his men returned to Herodstown after the Battle of Point Pleasant, which was the first battle of the Revolutionary War. Because the Big Spring had washed away part of their post the men had built the year before, they immediately set about constructing a second, larger fort on Old Fort Hill. On September 8th, not long after the fort was completed, the men were joined by their families. Fort Herrick provided a temporary refuge for the pioneers who lived in their own cabins built within small stockades outside the fort. The new fort was an improvement over its predecessor because it was built on higher ground, giving the settlers an unobstructed view in all directions. Despite the frequent attacks on the fort by hostile tribes, life for these early settlers was good. Food was plentiful, especially bear, which provided a fair substitute for bacon. Inside the fort, the settlers grew the three sisters of Native American agriculture, which included squash, corn, and beans. Outside its walls, the rich limestone soil served as an ideal pasture for the residents' cattle. Fort Herod was surrounded by several springs, but the primary source of water for the settlers was a natural spring inside the fort. This spring was also the source of the fort's most famous ghost story. Old Fort Spring was located at the bottom of a hill in the northwest corner of the fort. Soon after the stockade was built, the spring became the depository for the runoff from the people and animals that lived there. In 1777, an elderly Dutchman named Barney Stagner was designated unofficial keeper of the spring. His job was to prevent hostile tribes from dumping the carcasses of dead animals in the spring and further polluting the fort's main source of water. Barney was too old to serve in the militia with the younger men, so he took his job very seriously. One June morning, when Barney failed to return to his cabin, the inhabitants of the fort became alarmed. The men who were sent to look for Barney found his horse grazing just out the stockade. When they walked down the hill in the northwest corner of the fort, they made a grisly discovery. A headless corpse lying near the spring. Barney's attackers had stuck his head on a lance and jammed the other end into the ground. According to a longtime employee at the park, the spring where Barney was murdered, many have claimed to have seen Barney's headless ghost. One young man's account observed that the headless ghost's clothes were bloodied and the fingers of its outstretched hands were trying to grasp something that seemed to just be outside of its reach. Old Barney Stagner, it seems, is still looking for his head. Thank you for watching, and until next time, let's see what's out there.